Our next inductee tonight comes from the Razorback basketball program. One of the most highly recruited players of his era came to Arkansas from Kansas City, Missouri, and he cleaned the glass like few others in Razorback history. Let's welcome home Derek Hood. One phrase comes to mind when reflecting on the career of Razorback Derek Hood, and that is playing above the rim. A McDonald's All-American, the 6'8 Kansas City native with great leaping ability dazzled Razorback fans with an array of spectacular dunks and undeniable rebounds. Oh! Derek lettered four years from 1996 to 1999 and was a warrior for Nolan Richardson's Razorbacks. One of the most prolific rebounders in Arkansas history, Hood possessed great quickness and could run the floor better than most anyone his son. Nice steal by Hood. Derek led his teams to the postseason in each of his four years. Three first-round NCAA tournament victories and one NIT Final Four. Up top, Derek Hood. He still owns Razorback records for rebounds in a single season with 349 and career rebounds in SEC play with 468. Hood's 10.3 rebounds in the 98-99 season was bolstered by a program record six-game double-double streak, which included all three games of Arkansas's run to the SEC title game. Derek was a two-time All-SEC performer and remains the only Razorback to lead the SEC in rebounding two times. And miss the follow by Hood. Only the legendary Sidney Moncrief has recorded more rebounds than Hood whose career mark of 1,002 left him just 13 behind Super Sid's all-time record. Following his collegiate career, Derek played professionally from 1999 until 2005. Derek Hood. He now lives in Richardson, Texas, where he's an eighth grade math teacher at Liberty Junior High. But he's not given up on basketball just yet. He's the coach of the Patriots. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's very exciting to welcome the one and only Razorback Rim Rocker, Derek Hood, into the University of Arkansas Sports Hall of Honor. Uh, all right, so thank you. First of all, I'd just like to say I'm a Anybody that know me or knew me when I was here know I'm a man of few words, so this is not going to be like a Pat Bradley speech, so you don't have to worry about that. I've been all over the world playing basketball, from Europe to South America, but the one place that I loved to play was Bud Walton Arena. It was truly a special place. Playing for Coach Richardson was one of the most intense things you ever did. I was talking to Coach A this morning. He asked me if I still played. I said, no, I, I did 40 minutes of hell. My running days are over. With. <laughs> so, you know, I would just like to thank you know, all my coaches, especially Coach A, Coach Dunn, Coach Richardson for recruiting me to come here to Arkansas. It truly was an honor playing here for four years. I'd like to recognize my family, my sisters, one of my sisters is not here, Jessica. When two of my sisters showed up, Latrice and Kisha. My little brother couldn't make it, Gavin. My brother-in-law, Jermaine, newlywed, so they just did it. And to all my nieces and nephews, two of them showed up, Jermaine and Kev. To my two little children, Derek and Jordan, they both trying to play basketball, so I'm gonna love watching them grow up. And, you know, Ten years from now, I expect to see Coach A at my door. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize my wife. She's an Arkansas graduate also. I met her here like the third month of school. So we've been 20 years going now, so it's been great. We both got different stories of how we met. 
<laughs> since I'm up here, I'm gonna tell my side of the story. Um, I was walking down to, to class and she walked up to me and asked me, could she walk me to class? And I said, no. Every time she saw me on campus, she kept asking me out to go on a date. And so I finally gave in. That's my side of the story. Don't listen to her side. I'd like to also recognize my mother. My stepfather couldn't be here, but Tony Snow, he was a real big part of why I came to Arkansas, why I played basketball, why I grew up to become a man. And my mother, Kathy Snow, she was the one who worked all week and on the weekend drove me around to basketball games. I think she was most happy about me going to college because she didn't have to drive me around no more. <laughs> I also like to thank, um, mention my school, my um, principals, faculty, and administration. When they found out I was going to the University of Arkansas, they showed us good students. A lot of students didn't believe I played basketball before. But once they did, they started behaving better. So we need to do this every year so I can have some well-behaved students in my class. And then finally, I'd just like to thank the uh, foundation for putting me into this. It was truly unexpected. It's great to be recognized for something that you do, but when it's unexpected, it's even better. So I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you, Derek.